Hi guys, hope you're alright wherever you're watching this from in the world. We're in the UK and obviously still in the midst of coronavirus pandemic. So whilst we're not getting loads and loads of test bike miles in, I thought it would be a good idea to take a first look at this Vitus Mythique. So this is my latest test bike. We like to test some of the cheaper bikes, for want of a better word, off road TC. So the bikes that you or I would probably put our hands into our pockets and buy. So rather than the top spec bikes, we've gone for the more affordable spec. And actually, the three bikes in this range from Vitus, the Vitus Mythique range, are all pretty affordable. This is the middle spec one. So it comes in at just a penny under 1500 quid. You've got one then for just 1250 and you've got one for 1600 quid as well. But I'll come on to that in a minute. So, middle of the range, this is the Vitus Mythique 29 VRS. So, what do you get for your 1500 quid? Well, it's 140mm 29er, although you can buy the near identical spec version in a 27.5 if that's what you want. Right then, let's start from the top. So, the fork is an X-Fusion Slide Boost RC. So, those last two letters show that you've got rebound damping adjustment on the bottom of the fork leg, and the C stands for low speed compression adjustment on the top. These forks got 34mm stanchions and, as I said, 140mm travel. Extrusion also taking care of the shock. So this is the Pro 02 RL shock. So same 140mm, you get rebound, damping adjustment and also a lockout switch that clicks into place there. As for the rest of the bike, there's a SRAM drivetrain. So you've got Eagle SX on here, which is what we're seeing on a lot of low priced bikes. Now, the shifting's a little bit clunky, but you get a huge range, and I think that's a really a benefit, and it's nice to see this coming on lower priced bikes. I know that I'd take this larger range on a 1500 quid bike over something else, so it really helps you winch up hills. Uh, Vitus have mix and match stuff over here, so we've got Shimano brakes, so these are MT401 brakes. They are not the nicest looking lever, and they are not gonna be the most powerful brakes that you've ever used, but they're pretty reliable. Elsewhere, got WTB STI30 rims, and they are built onto nukeproof hubs, I believe. So that then follows suit. We've got nukeproof bars, stem, Vitus grips, nukeproof saddle, and then a Brand X Ascend dropper post. So the dropper post is 100 mil on a size small, this is a medium bike, so this gets 125mm of dropper, and then a large and extra large gets 150mm of drop. What else have we missed? So last thing to talk about, tyres. You get Swolby Magic Mary up front and a hand stamp for the back. And the interesting thing to note here is they are both the orange addicts compound, so blue would be the least tacky, orange middle set of tackiness, and then purple is the most tacky. So you've got fairly tacky front and rear tyre here. Um, but it's something that we've seen from Vitus across the board with their bikes. They tend to spec pretty good tyres, which is nice to see. In terms of the range of bikes, so this is the middle of the range bike, comes in at 14.50, so just 50 quid shy of 1,500 quid. You can also get the 29 VRX, which is a top spec out of the three. That's 1,600 quid, and that gets Marzocchi Bomber Z2s, which we saw on a Giant Trance recently, and also a RockShox Monarch R shock. That also gets a brake upgrade, so it gets the MT501s rather than the 401s. If you want to spend a bit less for 1250, you can get the 29 VR. So that is actually an only 130 mil bike, not 140, and that gets Suntour drivetrain and X Fusion, same X Fusion shock, but a different set of X Fusion forks. So it gets X Fusion's RC32 fork, so 32 mil stanchions on a shorter travel and cheaper bike, and that is the same for the. 27 and a half inch bike so you can get similar price similar spec bikes all in 27 and a half and they've actually got pretty similar geometry as well so in terms of geometry for this medium bike we've got well 66 degree head angles across the range 75 and a half degree effective seat angle so it's a pretty steep effective seat angle i'm hoping that this is going to be a pretty efficient climber the reach on this medium is 444 mil, and then there's a wheelbase of 1200 mil. So it is pretty decent geometry for what is a budget bike. 
If you do go for the 650B version, so smaller wheels, you get same head angle, a little bit steeper effective seat angle, a longer reach, so I think it's just over 450 reach on a medium bike, but then a shorter wheelbase, so it's 1190 on the wheelbase on the 650B bikes. But across the board, pretty similar. So that's the spec geometry and pricing for this range of bikes. The only other things that is left to mention is external cable routing. The cables are routed neatly down the bottom of the down tube and then run along the under the um, chain stays here. And something that is usually of interest on cheaper bikes, the weight. So, got my scales, let's weigh it. It's gonna be worth saying that I actually haven't weighed this bike yet, so I've left it until we're on video to find out what it weighs, which could be interesting. So it's 14.7 kilos, but to be able to compare that to other bikes, I need to change that to old money. 32.4 pounds, which is actually pretty impressive. So I just tested a Marin Rift Zone, which was 34 pounds, and also the shorter travel giant Trance, which was about 32 pounds. So actually it's pretty impressive that Vitus have managed to get this cheap, it's 1,500 quid, Vitus Mythique in at 32.4 pounds. That's pretty impressive, Vitus. So I'm gonna get this bike out on the trails. There's a couple of things that I would change just before I do. So it's got quite a long head tube, it's 120 mil. Um, I've sat on this bike, just pedaled it around the road and those spaces need to come out from underneath the stem. So I'd be reversing that, putting them on top and just lowering the front end a little bit. This saddle also really needs to change. It's really rounded and I'm pretty sure it's built to annihilate lady parts. So I've got a women specific brand new Ergon saddle, which I'm gonna put on here and make myself a whole lot more comfortable. But apart from that, the Vitus is pretty much ready to go. Um, the bars are quite wide, so they come as 780. I always chop everything down to 760 across the board. It's the right size for me and that's what I prefer riding. And it also means that all my test bikes feel as similar as they can in the cockpit, so that's pretty cool. Whilst I'm riding, I'll be having a little think about how this bike compares to others. So. For the price range, I've tested, like I said, that Marin Rift Zone, so that's 1800 quid, but it's short of travel, that's a 125 mil bike. It does get some pretty progressive geometry though, so that's a really capable bike. With regards to this sort of travel, I'm struggling to think of bikes that really fit into that sort of 1500 quid, full suspension, 140 mil 29ers. You've got something like the Calibre Century, that's a 29er, but that's really long travel, it's like 160 mil. You've got the Calibre Boss Nut 3, that brand new bike, much cheaper, so 1100 quid, but it's 650B. The other thing that springs to mind that's in a similar price bracket is the two grand Giant Trance 29.3 that I reviewed, but that is 115 mil, so it's much more of a cross country bike than a trail bike like this. So if you've got any ideas of what's the competition for this bike, you've got to think 140 mil, 29er, and that price range, stick it in the comments below. Likewise, if you've got anything similar that you'd like us to test, chuck it in those comments so we know what you guys are looking for. I will get out and ride this bike as best I can during lockdown, and we'll be looking at publishing a review afterwards, so keep an eye out for that whenever lockdown finishes. And thanks very much for watching.